Good evening and welcome to Bahrain Today, where we bring the latest news, achievements and talents of the kingdom. Before I leave you with our great segments, I would like to remind you to contact us on our social accounts shown down below for any questions or inquiries. Viewers, stay tuned. We'll be right back for another exciting episode of Bahrain Today. Sima Safe System is a new award-winning invention for swimming pool rescue made by a group of Bahraini youth. The invention is a system that can be built into swimming pools to prevent drowning accidents. Let's watch this report. Today, with us in the studio, the inventors of the swimming pool rescue system, Mr. Ali Jamil and Mr. Ali Abdullah. Gentlemen, how are you doing? I am fine. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, my first question would be to Mr. Ali Abdullah. Yes. Would you tell us uh, about Sima Safe System, please? Uh, Sima Safe System is the invention is coming uh, from a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the swimming in the in the Sweden is Sima. It's coming that that, that okay. name for Sweden. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So tell us about your invention, please. Yeah, about the invention, if to be see that every every years in Bahrain and outside Bahrain, you have the many people died in die in the swimming pool. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. Yeah. To be see that one is very sad for for me and with my team also. And now it will be invention, the system, how to help the people in the swimming pool. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm going to go off script right now. Uh, are you an engineer, your background? Any yeah, uh, computer you, and computer. Yeah, mechanical engineer and IT engineer. All think, right, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. And my question, uh, my next question is to you, sir. Yeah. And what are the features of the system? How does it work? The Okay, yeah, please. The feature it. of the system, as you shown, uh, as it's shown, there is a net. We put it in the, uh, on the bottom of the surface of the pool. Mm -hmm. It's raised up when the drone happen incidents. Okay. And how would the system be notified that uh, some somebody is drowning down down below? How would it yeah, work? It's, it's complete uh, completed system. Uh, it's a compound of content uh, of motion motion detector systems oh. and he heating system around the poles and we have two modes to apply this system interesting first mode uh, when there is no no uh, uh, nobody inside the pole mm -hmm. we can we have push bottom out the, uh, outside the pole we can apply it and push it to raise up the net to prevent any drone uh, I understand. incident happening so so, so be, it's a preventive measure as well as uh, systematic measure. Yeah, when, that's true. Okay, so bo both. So usually when nobody's in the swimming pool, it will be up. Yeah, yeah, it will be up. And then... The if, surface of the pool. Yes, and if there is somebody uh, in the swimming pool, it will be down, and God yeah. forbids anything happens. Yeah, the, it will be the, the, the sensor it will be detect the, the human. If you're heating, the first, the first time it will be heating, the, if you, you need to help you. Mm -hmm. That one, the, the, in the configuration, the system, the, the sensor, it will be detect that a human and you know that one is drawing now. And the, the net to be go up to help you. To help and, and how, let's say right now I went in the swimming pool, I yeah. went okay. down. How would it, I'm not drowning, yeah, but yeah. would it detect me if I was drowning? Well, yeah. how, how would the, the That system will be very nice for that one because uh, you have the uh, the box mm -hmm. for the system, 
uh, it will be check that one it's uh, drawing or that one it's really only swimming only swimming because uh, the system is really, uh, very difficult it's smart yes yeah, smart yeah. very smart it's like you <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about the participation participations in the exhibitions that you participated in first of all we participate in invention program here was held uh, since 2017 mm -hmm. we started uh, since 2017 uh, with the ministry of uh, sport and youth. Uh -huh. Yeah, we we among top of uh, five, and we participate in Kuwait Moshe. Middle East uh, Invention Fair. Wow! And what was the feedback of the people, or the judges and whomever? Some of them, they uh, they have, they tell us it it will not happen. It's difficult to apply it in the swimming pools, and others they surprise. And right now, how, how, how do people feel now? Now, now it's functioning, right? Yeah, yeah, it's functioning. And you're selling it as a, as a system already? And mm, as a no, no, that's it. Okay. But uh, are, are you doing it soon? Are you selling it soon to the public? Yeah, that, that one in the Korea, the, the last uh, exhibition, it will be go to Korea. Mm -hmm. In the Korea, it's, it's very happy for that system. It's very amazing for the system in Bahraini and GCC, you can do it in the, this system. Uh -huh. Because I, I, I uh, it's g uh, got a gold medal for the, the system. Mashallah, yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, the system will be need to patent for U okay. USA first, GCC, you need that one for the patent first. I understand. Yeah. Also for Bahrain. Yeah, 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 yeah after that, you can go to uh, the business. Uh, okay. The business. And how long does usually the patent take? How, how long does, uh, does the, it take? The Waibu patent, patent uh, or U USA take two years. Two years? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So two years, you mean in the, you'll have the patent for two years? Or would it take for you to get the patent? Yeah, get the patent. To get, to get, to get the patent. Uh, two years? Two years, yeah. Okay. And once it happens, you're going to go viral? You're going to go all out? Are you, do, do you already have the, the capital to invest in such a big project? Yeah. First yeah. of all, we, we are searching about the invest. Okay. Mm -hmm. To all right. this yeah. project. Because we all know that Bahrain yeah, yeah. is a very friend. It has a very friendly ecosystem for entrepreneurship. Have mm -hmm. you done any uh, venture capitalist uh, pitch so far, or have you not done that yet? Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. You should. Well, there there are so many pitches going on. Mm -hmm. uh, the I, I believe uh, pitch at the palace just uh, passed, and there are so many going ha happening every every month. There are a few of them. Anyways, so I'm sure such an invention needs to be honored. And uh, what are the awards and prizes that you have won thus far? Uh, last time you won the gold medals from Sea All International Invention Fair. Yes. Uh, and we won the I as I said we won the top of five uh, in, the, in Bahrain, also in Kuwait. Marshall and Marshall. also the yes. The for, from the Thailand and the Malaysia it will be also g give the gift for, for the, this invention. In in the, in the, yeah. oh, that's good. I hope there's cash behind yeah. it because <laughs> you really need the capital, <laughs> where, wouldn't you? Jamin, uh, is there a message that you'd like to, to say? Yeah, I would, we like to, okay. I would like to say uh, to young Bahrainis or young around the world, if they have any idea, go for it to make it reality. and. Uh, as uh, Prophet Muhammad said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Azza wa Jal uh, loves who uh, works in a perfect way. Definitely. That's it. Definitely. Thank yeah. you, gentlemen. Well, thank you thank so you much and best of luck. Uh, I hope you keep on doing what you're doing and bringing out Bahrain's name. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Viewers, don't go away. We'll be right back. Looking to improve your public speaking and leadership skills? Toastmasters International is a non-profit educational organization that teaches public speaking and leadership skills through a worldwide network of clubs that aims in building confident leaders and communicators of people with diverse backgrounds in building themselves a better future.
Toastmasters International is a non-profit educational organization that teaches public speaking and leadership skills through a worldwide network of clubs including the diverse clubs in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Toastmasters International has helped people from diverse backgrounds become more confident speakers, communicators and leaders to build themselves a future filled with leadership and confidence. With us here today in the studio, the president of Toastmasters Club, Sara Saeed, and Mohammed Hassan, members, member of the Toastmasters Club in Bahrain. How are you, Sara? How are you, Mohammed? You guys are good? All is fine. Toastmasters is a well-known organization that aims to build personalities. Can you talk to us more about what Toastmasters do? Yes, uh, Toastmasters is an, is an organization aims to improve the public speaking skills and the leadership skills and mm -hmm. each meeting we say that our mission is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop their communication and leadership skills resulting in a greater self-confidence and personal growth. That's excellent and how would you help uh, those, uh, th those individuals to build their leadership skills? Yes, um, each six months in our club we have XCOM members. They can participate, they can, they can take a role as, for example, secretary, VP membership, v VP public relations. In the club. In the club. Mm -hmm. You will know how to deal with the people and how you will run the club and how you, how you will solve the problems. And the public speaking skills, we have manuals. We have projects, you have objectives. Each uh, meeting we have speeches. You will deliver a speech and then you will have an evaluation. Mm -hmm. So each meeting you will see the difference. It is different than before and you will see your improvement. But Sarah, to be honest, you sound very, very analyt an analytical. So it's, you're very two in the system, like one, two, three, like, wouldn't you say that uh, leaderships, uh, people are born to be leaders? Would you agree or disagree? No. No. We always say that Toastmasters, where leaders are made, not born. Made and not born. Yeah. Would you agree with that, Mr. Muhammad? I agree and disagree on this point. Okay, perfect. I like that. Yes. So how do you agree and how do you disagree? I agree there are lots of people born without the leadership skills. Without? Without. Okay. So they need a place to polish their skills and the leadership. So yes. Toastmaster is the best place for them to be polished on their leadership skills. Perfect. And the people Nicely who said. and the people who came with the leadership skills, they will join the Toastmaster. You can get it better. And get it better and help other to get to be a better leaders. And in, in uh, what about you, your personality? Were you a leader before you get in the Toastmasters Club? Before uh, jo joining the Toastmaster, I was half a leader. Okay, <laughs> half a leader. Now you're yes. full leader. <laughs> because my leader, my leadership was in a small group mm. with my friends. Let's say, at home, not really, <laughs> but still, <laughs> in a way. In too. a way. Okay. But after joining the Toastmaster, my leadership goes better skills. Uh, what, what do you learn exactly? Is it, is it more, more psychological? Is it more of a, a step after the other? What do you, how do you It is actually it? a step by other and by practicing you will be a better okay. leader. Okay, if you could tell me three main points, three what main would you tell points. me to be a better leader? A better leader? <coughs> First of all, know how to delegate. 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 Okay. So if you are a leader, you will not yeah. do everything alone. You will have too much work to handle. Exactly. Delegate. Then you have to know the how to make a team. Okay. At the end of the, or let's say last point, how to give each one a response to be a responsible for something that he is a good on it. Yes, I understand. Because each person is different from the other. Yes. Okay. So we need 
for example, we have a contest. Mm -hmm. We need some people on the good in marketing, IT, yeah. printing, designing. How you are a leader, so you will collect everyone and make them working for this kind of event. Sara, my next question is for you, madam. Um, off air, you, you, you were talking about a contest that will be happening in the next uh, few weeks or months. Um, what about the contest? How, does it, how do they happen? Yes, um, you know that each year we have the world champion. But world champion. World champion. Right. But we have districts, for example, Bahrain and Kuwait is District 20. Okay. Under the district, we have division, area, and the club. Okay. The winner in the club, the winner in the club contest will represent the club in the area contest. Okay. So the area contest will be uh, in January, and then after the area, we will have the divi division, after the division, district, and then the winner in the district will represent the district in the world. Interesting. And Sir Mohammed, could you elaborate a little bit on that? A little bit on that, please. Sure. What uh, are the contests like? The what kind of? Uh, there are four contests: mm -hmm. uh, international contest, which is motivational speech. Motivational. So you you will deliver a speech that motivate others. Then a humorous speech. Humorous. Humorous. So you will just give a humorous inside the speech. So you have a sense of humor in that kind of speeches. Then evaluation, and the last impromptu speeches, or we call it table topic contest. Table topic. Yeah, and the only contest will go for international is international speech contest. Mm -hmm. So we have one guy from our club that he reached that level. Also from Bahrain, we have two people reach Muhammad Ali Shakri and Kamal. They reached the international level. Mashallah. Kamal reached the semi-final and Muhammad Ali reached the finalist wow. on the international. International level. Yes. And how many countries are in the Toastmaster? Um, the countries, not really. Maybe, but I, I don't want to know each and every single country. Yeah. I want to know the, the, the countries that are participating in the contest, the international contest. It is from different world, from Singapore to US. Okay, from a lot. everywhere, yeah. Actually, our district, it was the entire GCC plus uh, Jordan and Lebanon. Mm -hmm. But now we are only two countries. in Bahrain. Yes. Because uh, we're, uh, you, you guys are growing exactly. in number. We have more than, uh, in the entire organization, more than 350,000 members. Wow. Yes. And they're all uh, like uh, members coming to, uh, to, to those meetings and they're live members. Yes. Active members. Active members. Wow. Impressive. And um, Ms. Sara, as a president of the club, talk to us uh, uh, of what you teach and offer in the club. Yes, uh, as a president, you will know how to run, run the club, how you will solve the problems, how you will find alternative solution for each thing, how you will make the club members satisfied, mm -hmm. and how you will follow up with the education, how they are delivering the speeches. They are, the members The members are increasing, the public relation, the social media. I'm telling you, you're very analytical. The financial. You're, you're always one step after the other. You don't leave any gray areas, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I could tell, mashallah. Okay. And um, so what do you, n not as a president what you teach, as a Toastmaster Club, um, what, what do you focus on mainly? Uh, like I know you focus on leadership and uh, uh, mm -hmm. what's it called? And the uh, speeches. Public speaking. Public speaking. Uh, but other than, uh, other than that, can you tell me more uh, in depth in the leadership and public yes. speaking? Yes. This, your soft skills, you will know how to deal with people. There is uh. different personalities. You want to make them satisfied. You will know how to deal with them. This, uh -huh. this uh, kind of uh, things, you will learn it in Toastmasters. How long have you been, uh, have you been in to a Toastmaster, not a president? Two years. Two years. He's uh, an old member. Miss Sara, uh, I want an example of before and after. Before, before, how you dealt with something and how you deal with it now. Before, 
not only me, a lot of Toastmasters, they are even don't want to speak in front of people. They are shy, they are afraid. I want a personal example. I want to get personal right here. For example, our champion Toastmaster Kamal Shahapi, he know him very well. He don't know how to deliver, he was shy. But then he become a champion. He represent Bahrain and Kuwait in Chicago. I, I understand, but I want a more personal story. Okay, Mohammed, would you do you have something for us? Yes. You just shook your head. Yes. I want a personal story. I will tell you my personal story. Uh -huh. When I joined the Toastmaster, mm -hmm. I was planning to join the Toastmaster in 2007. But when I went, I get scared. It's me standing in front of people and start talking. Thank you. Mm. I don't want it. You don't want it? Yeah. Then again, I revisit the club in 2009. Mm -hmm. And again, the same question. Then my friend and my mentor, Mohammed Abdin, forced me to join the club in 2010, January. Mm -hmm. Because he told me, I need you to be with me on the XCOM. You have nothing to do unless joining the club. I told him, come on, dear. I cannot deliver a one minute speech. So he told me, just join us, and that's it. So he left me no area to escape. Okay. And I joined the Toastmaster. My first speech, I should deliver a speech one to two minutes. And it was an easy, que uh, easy question. If you want to change something in your life, what it would be? Okay. So I stand and I just start speaking full of... Uh, um, uh, uh, oh. uh, okay. It was <laughs> gap filler only. I didn't say one sentence exactly. One sentence, it wasn't, and it took me 45 minutes just to take myself standing. <laughs> exactly 45 minutes, and I was disqualified from this, for the voting. Mm -hmm. In 2013... Three years later. Yes. I was the champion of international speech contest. All right, look and at you. <laughs> it Bravo. was a very big contest and it was a tough because the entire GCC with us, except Saudi, mm -hmm. it was with other district and Jordan and Lebanon. Right. And I was the one who represents Bahrain. Yeah, right. And I had a very good speech. So the difference is that. But in life, how, yeah. would it, how, how did it affect you? What's your background, if I may uh, ask? I am an IT guy. Okay, fair enough. In your workflow, in your workplace, how did mm. it affect you? Uh, how to deal with people, easy, because... Uh, and that's a story I want to hear. More than the actual thing in the club. Because, uh, because w w anything that you do, you want it to reflect in your life, right? Exactly. So tell me, how did it... Tell me, I want that quick story, 30 seconds, what you did before and what you did now. Before? If someone just give me an exa uh, an problem to solve it in IT, um, directly the first thing that you are an IT guy doesn't know how to make the system working properly. This is what they tell you? Yes, exactly. Okay. So. And how would you react before? My reaction was that it is your fault. You don't know how to use it. How, what is your reaction now? Now, I know. Uh, it is... Uh, an IT, it is not something that will work 100% for you. It is a machine. It is the uh, fault of the machine and we will solve it for you, sir. Okay. Fair uh, enough. As soon as possible. You're, be you're becoming more of a people's guy. You're, you're taking in his rage and understanding and yes. giving him what he wants to hear. And in the end, it's, it's a, a uh, I'm win okay, win you're okay. This is what they Win-win win situation. Want. Okay, win-win yeah. situation. That's exactly what And also something else <coughs> on the uh, public speaking. I now, I'm just a trainer on public speaking. Mm -hmm. I train more than 400 kids on public speaking. Yes. And for the adults, we just make some training on public speaking for some organization. And they are a very big organization in Bahrain. Right. So this will help us also to, for the society mm -hmm. to make people understand the importance of public speaking. Right. Thank you, Mohamed. Sara, how can we join a Toastmaster Club? 
Yes, uh, first uh, you can be a visitor for three times mm -hmm. and then you, you will contact the VP membership. There is like a form and then we will register you online and there mm -hmm. is a small fees for the international for the website. Okay. And then you will become a Toastmaster, you will have a mentor, he will guide you and then step by step. Great, great. And uh, what are your future plans like? What do you want to aim? What's your goal? Our aim is to always to uh, make people joining uh, our club. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, how? For example, I will invite you to to the Toastmasters Club, and then you will become a a member. We will add, as he said, we will make our workshops. We have the youth leadership skills for the youth. Uh, in the summer, we want people to know us more uh -huh. in the social media, even in the YouTube. All this right. Is our aim. Cool. And Mohammed, anything else before we end the segment? <laughs> I would like to invite everyone in Bahrain. All right. To join the Toastmaster, and also I would like to request from the companies to work on their employees. And leadership and skills, and leader, their soft skills. And soft skills, especially on public speaking. Right. Because it will give them more value because Definitely. they are representer for their companies. I do agree. Thank you very much, Sara and Mohammed. It was a pleasure having you here. That's our pleasure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Viewers, stay tuned. We'll be right back. And that is all for this evening. We thank all our guests who are with us today and we will see you next time in Bahrain today. If you'd like to be with us on the show or have suggestions or questions for us, then contact us on our account shown on the screen. Goodbye and God bless. <laughs>